What is going on guys? Welcome back once a motherfucking again to our next order let's play. In our last episode we acquired our second ultimate Digimon of the series and Finn's Digivolution. He digivolved to Waru Seedramon completely unexpectedly. We ran about gaining a bunch of moves I think. Nothing particularly exciting, nothing that we could utilise with our two current Digimon. But then on top of that, we done a bit of battling, we gained a bit of XP, and we also spoke to Talmon again, advancing the plot. So now, it looks like we have acquired enough Digimon to advance the plot once again, which is why there is a yellow exclamation point on top of Digimon's house. So I think that's what we're going to be doing to kick off this episode, if you are at all interested on coming on some wild Digimon adventures with us, then stay tight, or sit tight, because we are about to get into this. Let's go. Alright then, let's go in here and see what the old fart has to say to us. Again, we've obviously just spoken to these guys a second ago, but because we have also recruited enough Digimon, it means that we don't actually have to go back out into the world and do what Kota and Himari said we were going to be doing and recruiting more. We already have a bunch of Digimon and enough to advance the plot yet again, so here we are. Hey Wolfie, or yeah, Digimon says, hey, you came at the right time. I was just speaking to Talmon. Thanks to you, the city has really started to grow. Talmon is here now and we really want to make a, make the place grow even bigger. If you bring even more Digimon here, we're going to need a lot more space. Plus, we're building the detector here too, so things are getting pretty cramped. I want my apprentices, Meramon and Cubimon at the Logic Volcano to come and help rebuild. If we all work together, it won't take long, so maybe even just a single day. Well, that's interesting. Talmon's got some uh, good development points here. It will take some time, but I think it will be worth the wait. I don't know why Digimon's saying it will be worth the wait, because Tamon just literally told us it was going to take a day. So, you guys uh, make up what the fuck it is that we're going to be doing, and then come back to us when you're ready. But I think, ladies and gents, that is a clue that uh, very, very soon, if not already, when we go outside, the, uh, the city will be expanding soon. So it's not happened just yet, but very, very soon. I guess we have to go back to the Logic Volcano once again, and speak to... Cubimon and Meramon. We're going to head back there, I guess, <laughs> to, to start this episode out. We are already halfway through a day, so if we were going for a little journey, it wouldn't be too big of a deal. It is quarter past two in the afternoon, according to the, ga the game clock in the top left. So what I think we have to do is go back and speak to these two guys. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Luckily, we have been there a million times before, so I am not going to force you guys to come with me. Uh, there's a, another big stra- oh, baby strawberry. I call them big strawberries because they're huge, but I don't know, baby strawberry apparently. We are, uh, we are going to travel to Logic Volcano. I'm going to give my uh, tonsils a bit of a rest here, and I will see you when we arrive, and hopefully we'll be able to do some new stuff. Again, we don't want to spend too long there because Mega Cabotamon does get sick in the Logic Volcano, which sucks, so the sooner we can get in and out, the better. So I will see you guys then. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> well, this is interesting, guys. All right. Obviously, we're not at the Logic Volcano yet, but check this out. First of all, we have what looks like another Coriander on the path here. Garudamon's still chilling, doing nothing, but look at this. Look at this motherfucker. Up ahead, we have a giant Nanimon, who I would like to get closer to, but I also don't want to end up in a fight with. King Nanimon, I can't see... Oh my god, this is about to get very interesting. Are you guys excited? Are you guys having a nice day? Look at the fucking state of this. I can't see what's in front of us. All right. That guy does not look like to, he uh, he is down for messing about, and although we could maybe challenge him, I don't think it's a good idea. I've just got a bad feeling about that. Dude, the f what is it with the server desert, man? All these guys are a bunch of rowdy bastards. Look at this fucking Garurumon. As if we haven't smashed his ass a fucking million times already. But anyways, yeah, that's yet another example of the King Digimon that exists in this game. Obviously, that part of the desert is a spawn for the King Nanimon. And so if you see him here, do not be alarmed. He is extremely big and extremely bold, but I'm pretty sure he's a big softy. But anyways, here we go. Are the guys in here? No, they're not. It's just Bomber and Animon. Interesting. So I am confused. Maybe they're already in the city or maybe they're in another part of the volcano. I don't know, but I don't really want to be here longer than I have to be. So as much as I would love to stay and train against these Bomber and Animon, we are going to use our remaining autopilot and head back to the city. Honestly, I don't know what, why I thought that that was a thing, but... Apparently it's not. 
I don't know. Let's say, uh, okay, so we got a tamer, a tamer boost there for what seems like no reason whatsoever. Um, I'm going to buy another autopilot because having these is quite important for me. And I want to ensure that we have more of those in the future. We could buy a bunch of recovery discs as well. And probably some uh, MP stuff as well. Let's buy another recovery disc because you never know. Okay, so it is kind of evening time. But I'm not really satisfied with that trip. I really thought that we were going to be able to bang into the two guys. So I apologise that that's not the case, folks. What I think we will do is probably go a wander and, uh, and explore somewhere else. Because, again, our dudes are... Probably not tired yet. We have a bunch of items and I would like to kind of try and earn some more money so that whenever we do figure out what it is that we need to be doing, we can actually travel a bit more freely and go to places that we, we need to go to. So what I'm going to do here, folks, is I'm going to go wander. I'm going to find out where it is that we need to be going. And when I figure that out, I will catch you guys back and we will explore a bit more efficiently together. So season a bit. <laughs> oh, God. All right, guys, yet again. Out of nowhere, the two Jeremon that are on the path to this part of the desert caught up with me yet again. So we're going to just fight these guys and catch you guys in at this point in time. Now, we don't have any AoE moves just yet amongst our party, I don't think. I, I tell a lie, Nightmare actually just hit both of those guys, and I don't know if that was coincidence. That also hit both of those guys, so maybe I'm just talking absolute horseshit. Let's use... Oh my god. We'll use Nightmare, and we will also use our OP order here and probably kill this guy insta which was nice we used a bit more mp than i would have liked there though we get two mp discs back though so i guess that makes sense that's fine we got a bunch of money as well and also the ability to praise our guys nice hot air balloon digital hot air balloon as well that we don't often get to see so that's kind of kind of sweet Cre we, we obtained creepy mons digiv digivolution info interesting all right so i looked it up online guys uh, about recruiting burgemon and not Burgemon, sorry, Meramon and Cubimon, and I think that they just come to the city naturally, so what I wanted to do is come into this area and train against some of these guys, in fact, was it this, was it this area, wasn't there Jeremon in here, I, I think I'm in the wrong part of the desert, but I want to fight against this Shaman one and find out how many stats we get, because this guy is level 24, and, uh, and if we can get some good XP off this dude, then it's worth doing for just a little while, um, again, I won't stick here because I wasn't planning on coming into this area, but um, at the same time, it's not a big deal. Now, I'm probably just going to use two of our expensive moves here because it probably should be enough to kill this guy. Um, is that enough? Almost. Do we have enough energy to do anything else? Probably not. Um, okay, then that's the fight over. Luckily, your MP chips do go off after the fight is finished. And yeah, we get really sucky stats from here. So we don't want to be here if we don't have to. I was in the wrong part of the desert. Let's just hop across to the next door over. Unfortunately, we're going to have to run past the Jeremon again, which, you know, gives me a bit of anxiety, but at the same time, we'll just have to fucking deal with it. If we have a stroke mid trying to run past these, I mean, what happens here, right? I'll explain it. So these Jeremon aren't any faster than any of the other Digimon, but what happens is because there's two of them, <laughs> our Digimon collide with them even just a little bit and then they nudge them into us or, or vice versa. So, but yeah, not anything exciting from these kind of stat games. We got rotten meat. And an excure onion. And we also get 480 bits. So, yeah. All I wanted to do here was pass across to this side of the desert. If that goblin one comes anywhere near me, I swear to God, I will put him in the fucking ground. Yeah, you know better. Alright. So, let's just walk across here and into this spot. And I think this is where the Jeremon are that I want to train against. It is kind of late at night and we really don't have enough MP chips to be fucking around in here for ages. But at the same time, we should be able to uh, train here for a little while. So, we give out the boys a bit of meat. And then I think we will use MP discs as well. Let's just use a couple of these. Why not? We'll embrace the fact that we have no fucking energy whatsoever. And uh, and go in here. Uh, even if we can do like two or three battles here, that would make me happy. Again, as soon as we can get ultimates off against these guys, the better. Ideally, what happens here is I want to be able to slowly work our way up to the, the big dog at the top of the mountain there. You can see him. There's actually two... Uh, Garudamon Blacks there as well that are extremely more stronger than the Garudamon Black we fought in the entrance of the, the Logic Volcano, you know, in that area. Did we get any power, power boost here? No, we did not. Okay, so we got the uh, the slow on him, which is quite important. Seedramon, you want to do your thing here, buddy? It's very hard to predict uh, Nightmare's... It's very hard to try and connect the, the power order on Nightmare because it's... Uh, it's hard to see, okay? It's not like a clear move. You don't see the boat flying across the screen or anything like that. Do we have enough now? That would be great. No, we don't. And we don't. Okay, cool. Let's just uh, go a little bit more through this fight and then we should be fine here. 
Is that enough? We're getting seven order points per fight, so we're very close to being able to do it with Siegemon. Uh, and I think what we will do is just wait here because that is us now able to do it. Let's use the special move Icicle, which will fi finish this fight off. Now again, we burned through all of our MP, which is a massive problem. Maybe we need to consider putting on some uh, ch cheaper moves and just making these fights go a little bit slower. But at the same time, it's nice to get through the, f the fights nice and fast as well. So we get some points, stamina, wisdom, uh, and a bunch of MP. And that's pretty much it for both these guys. Unfortunately, we don't get any exciting items, just an obscure onion. Uh, and luckily none of our guys are injured as well. So I think what we can do is probably do another one of these fights. They're not particularly exciting, but this should take us to the end of the day. I I'm going to heal Alex before we get into this fight real quick. And just make sure that he doesn't go down, because if he goes down that would really suck. And then I think we've got, well, two MP discs. Do we really want to try this? Fuck it. Alright, that is our last MP. Down the drain. Let's see if we can tangle this guy. Get a tiny bit more XP, a little bit more money, and that'll be us. We'll be on our way. We'll go back to the city after this, I think, guys. But there we go. This guy gets hit by the Wombo combo. He's going to feel that tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, we get a bit more stats yet again. So that's kind of cool. It's nice seeing these uh, boosts to our MP. Because every time we get a big chunk, like 119 on the left there for Alex, I'm covering these stats. I apologize. When we get a big boost like 119, that is almost like one third of being able to cast Nightmare or something like that. You And uh, in Alex's case, it's the root move. But you know what I mean. Alright, cool. So I think what we will do, guys, is rather than wander into another one of these fights with no mana, I would like to try and run past these Jeremon to get up to the top and speak to what looks like a Grap Leomon up there, but at the same time, I don't think that's a thing that's going to happen either. So let us just, uh, do we want to all pilot back to the city? I guess so. Let's do that and then we'll do a tiny bit more training before the, the, the day is out and that will, that will make up our day quite nicely. Not too exciting so far. But I think what we need to do is wait on a, on a bit of a time pass in order for Meramon and Cubimon to turn up. Now, I don't know if that is the case. It seems pretty weird that that's the case, but at the same time, we're just going to do this for now. Can we talk to you, my friend? Oh, no, you actually modified. Jack, what are you doing? I want to speak to this guy. Can you get out of the way, please? Eat this. Thanks. Kota, what are you doing? Saying it. I'll do any training for Kota. Kota, do you say anything? This is a great place to train. Yukimura, uh, we're gonna find lots of city residents. Not in here, you're not, dude. We all these city, all these people. It's, it's very cozy in the in the training shack right now. All these residents we recruited, Kota. I don't know what the fuck you're doing with your time, mate. But anyways, let's uh, let's try and gather some more MP because that is going out of fashion. Like there's no tomorrow right now. We keep running out of uh, MP. So the sooner we can get this up, the better. Let's do this for the guys. Try and get a bit more a bit more training session and then if something's gonna proc tomorrow then that would be great. And if not, when we can find other things to do. Is that the bathroom? Yep. Cool. I'm drinking water because my throat's starting to get sore. I've been playing so much of this game today and I am absolutely loving life. Um like the big geek that I am, so there we go. Let's uh let's see if this is gonna end the day. Are you guys ready to go to sleep yet? Are you guys ready to go to sleep? I can't tell. It's really hard because you're so tall. Can, can I get an indication? Yeah, you are. I keep forgetting it's down the bottom there, guys. Like, uh, I'm such a dumbass. But anyways, there we go. Put these little bros to their bed. And we're going to wake up tomorrow nice and fresh. And hopefully be able to pick up some stuff. So we pick up a Digibond. All that good stuff. Are you guys need... Yeah, I was going to say. Are we going to get any bonuses like we normally do when we walk out here? Yeah, we do. All right, cool. I wonder what our Digimon's bond is at this point. It must be doing pretty well, right? Digi-friend bonus, I guess. So the guys are sitting at 78 between each other. That's pretty good. Not bad at all. Nothing to be ashamed of, anyway. Let's uh, go into our items, feed these guys, and then find out what the hell is going on. Uh, I wonder if I can check my Digimail if there'll be some sort of explanation as to what it is that we need to be doing right now. I'm going to give this piece of meat to Alex because he needs it the most in terms of his happiness. Uh, and then we can actually talk to Tanamon and get more meat anyway, so this isn't really a big deal. And we'll keep feeding these guys. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Again, we could probably put our coriander in the in the bank for later on. Don't know if we need two corianders, but at the same time, we can uh, probably keep some. And then if we end up not needing it later on, we can definitely sell it for a big fuck ton of money. Keep feeding these guys. We're actually kind of running short on digi stocks. We should keep an eye on that. Let's go back in here and... We'll first of all pick up our items, but then I'm also going to check my Digimail real quick. Portable toilet, recovery disc, and an MP disc. So we don't actually get any of our uh, 
<laughs> medicines back. I would like, I would have liked that because we don't have any medicine at this point. Let's see, that old man is always needing my help. It seems no matter what I can do or what I do, he's always blah, blah, blah. We have to find as many residents as possible. Let's out, head out right away. So I don't know. I don't know what's happening right now. Let's actually look at our Digimail, as I said I was going to do. Here we go. Is the population growing? I have something about Felicia I need to talk to you about when you have a moment. So I've already done that. Um, subfolder. Togemon says, help me. Uh, V1, I think we've done that ages ago, right? Yeah, these are from way, way back. Uh, and then Rena's obviously wanting us to do some training. I guess we could speak to her. Yeah, I think that for the time being, we can chill. We could probably go and try and figure out what Renamon wants from us. But at the same time, she doesn't look like she uh, she was going to interact with us. Remember, she was out in the little grassy part of the the world. Um, very close to Night Plains. She didn't actually do anything, though. So, I don't know. Let's put our digi stocks in here. We'll put an oily flirt for in quick. Blah, blah, blah. We'll sell the big strawberry. How much is that? How much is that selling for? We don't know. F fighty fungus. Great mushroom for hot pot to warm you up. Again, we'll hold on to some of these items. Rotten meat we don't need just now. And yeah, for the most part, I think we'll be okay. Let's uh, let's talk to our shopkeeper. We are kind of short of funds at the moment, but at the same time, we should be okay. We got a little bit back from some of the last bits of training we did, so I guess we're not too broke, but you know, it's looking kind of dicey. We have one porta potty which is interesting. I guess we could pick up an extra one if we speak to our friend over by the bathroom. We haven't done that yet today. All right, everything looks okay. I do want to buy some more items though, as always, because you can never have too many recovery items, especially in this game of all games. And then MP, holy shit, we have none. So uh, I guess we're taking it. We're going to take 10 off the shopkeeper, which will take us up to 11. Let's see. Uh, we actually need you today, my friend. Yeah, port port. Okay. So a portable toilet, that's us got two of those. I'm not really sure what to do, guys, because I'm pretty sure that Meramon and the other one are, are going to turn up, and when they do, that actually procs the expansion of the town. But I think that we actually have to go out, and uh, we, it says we have a new mail, but I don't think we fucking do, do we? Um. Okay, yep, yeah, no, that's fine. Head to Logic Volcano, blah, blah, blah. See, that's from ages ago. I don't think we need to worry about any of this crap just now. Quagamon, he's fine. <laughs> the Royal Jelly, that was ages ago. We don't even have anything here for Renamon, so I don't know. Maybe we could go back and interact with her and see if we can get anything to happen. Because other than Renamon, off the top of my head, I'm not really sure what it is that we can do. I'm trying to remember, but it'll come back to me at some point. Let's head along there anyway. I'm going to meet you guys there, save you a bit of travel time, and uh, yeah, catch you in a bit. Alright guys, now obviously with the uh, the pleasure that is trying to get to Renamon, we have to get past these red Vegemon. So what I'm going to do is pull this guy around the tree and hopefully get through this gap without too much trouble. I really don't want to fight these guys, I definitely don't want to fight two at once. So if we could dodge this, that would be fantastic. Magical, alright, nice. Obviously in this area is very busy as well. I guess we could talk to Rena because we probably have done... And I, oh god, I'm glad we picked up that extra porta potty. I always forget that, like, roughly when you leave the city for the first time each day, your Digimon will end up needing to go to the bathroom. So, I mean, I guess we, uh, I should be more aware of this that this keeps happening. But luckily, we have the porta potties to deal with it anyway. If we were, um, if we were good players, we would wander through into the mod, the mod cave part of the map, which is just through. Um, towards the pirate area that we were in before there's actually a bathroom right on the other side of that door But at the same time it means trying to like run past all the devimon and stuff. All right, Rena, my friend Can you do anything? Not done yet. Get on it. I guess we haven't done 10 draining um, Things now that I think about it. There's no way we've done 10. But anyways, it's cool We come up here because I guess we get three dodgy mushrooms. That's uh, that's nice Good because we were running out of those anyway, but all right, let's uh, try and get through this clusterfuck of digimon to get to Renamon because I really want to speak to her and uh, yeah I think we're just going to charge through the fucking middle like we own the place because we kind of do uh, and if we could talk to her without it, all of this party attacking us that'd be great oh Lord Talmon so here we go we get a bit of progression this is good this is what I was wanting guys I was almost ready to serve you the ultimate dish what's wrong Oh, I didn't expect to see a human here. What a rare sight. No, perhaps this is fate. I have a request to ask you, noble human. My name is Renamon and I was Lord Talmon's chef. Well, that's hard to fucking believe, but okay, we'll believe you. I was to cook a meal that would make Lord Talmon's tongue sing. I thought the recipe up and sought out the ingredients, but then Lord Talmon went off somewhere. Still, I refused to give up. Dude, if you're Lord Talmon's chef and he lives at the top of the logic volcano, what the fuck are you doing all the way over here? Anyways, this, the ultimate dish, I put all my all into it. I want my lord to taste it. Okay. Um, 
but one still eludes me. So Renamon's looking to make the ultimate cuisine and is looking for one last piece of the puzzle in terms of her recipe. And it's a Digicarp. So we will definitely be able to find her a Digicarp. Uh, I think the, the closest place we could go is probably back the way to the Night Plains area. And then come back here when we catch a Digicarp. I'm pretty sure you can catch those in the river uh, out just outside the city. So I am going to walk back there get to the little bit where we can fish and hopefully we can get this uh this renamon what it is that she needs she'll hopefully oh my god uh right okay i wasn't really expecting this so i'm just gonna relax for a little minute Whew. okay that's uh that's a thing that we we're gonna have to deal with all right guys if we can get this uh this renamon back to the city i'm hoping that she will be able to uh are we gonna get through here no we are not all right let's go Fucking bring it, bitch faces. This is uh, this has kind of made me mad. So let's uh, let's just tr kill these guys ASAP. Hopefully we don't take too much damage. Although that right there looks like a fuck ton of damage. Uh, can you just not die? That would be fantastic if that's a possibility. Uh, I'm just going to use my abilities here because it looks like these dudes are pretty close to dying. If you could die right now, that'd be perfect. All right, cool. <laughs> Not, not too big of a deal, but fuck me. These guys pack a punch. Are we going to be injured here? Yeah, that sounds like a critical injury. Um, let's find out. Because we don't have any medicine yet and our bandages. That looks really sore. What do you have wrong with you? Is it a serious injury? Uh, I don't know if this is going to work, guys. But I'm going to try it anyway. Please. Alright, see, it was a serious injury, and luckily the bandage fixed it. Now, if you read the screen there, it says rarely heals major injuries. I don't even know. I, I feel like we're getting extremely lucky, but fuck the red Vegemon, man. I hate those bitches. We're gonna... Uh, we're gonna probably have to encounter them again at some point later, but holy shit, those two act as a, a really mean, like... A really mean set of uh, guardians for that gate there. They should be defending the Logic Volcano. Anyway, as I said a minute ago, guys, I'm going to catch you back at the water, which is just through this doorway anyway. So, uh, yep, see you then. All right, folks, now we are back where we need to be. Why don't we try a spot of fishing? Now, we could do it on the normal spot, but I think we should do it from here because I don't know if we've done this yet. I don't know if we've came to this particular spot. Now, what Renamon wants is a Digicarp. It is one of the rarer fish, but hopefully we can get it sooner rather than later. Holy crap, I thought we got it first time, but <laughs> it's just a Digicrook, and that's fine. We are going to keep going. Let me just check my mail real quick, because I'm pretty sure we will have something from Renamon. A Digicarp. All right, excellent. That's exactly what it is we need. Let's just go through this. Don't know how long this is going to take, but hopefully it will be nice and quick. Picking up any other extra fish here isn't a bad thing anyway, because we can end up selling it. That's a Digicoy. I don't think we've actually seen one of those yet. Or if we have, it was only one that we caught way, way back at the start. Wait, you see us catch it first time. That would be absolutely perfect. Or maybe I'm, maybe I'm getting super ahead of myself. Who knows? Let's see. We can fish here, run back onto the banking, and pop in our normal lure. As you guys, right, oh dude, oh right in, right in between Water Sigemon. Surely that's got to work. I don't know why these guys are in the way. Can you guys? Yeah, can you just come out of the way? Thanks. Later on in the game, we will be able to acquire new lures to make the fishing a little bit different, to spice things up a little bit catch a different amount of fish and different kinds of fish but for the time being we're stuck with the normal lure which you know based on what we're looking at right now does not look like it's doing too well for us i would have i would have hoped that this process wouldn't be as painful as it has been yes. but uh i don't know maybe that's just again maybe that's just me i would think that the game devs would make this this particular fishing escapade not too tricky but i don't know if there's anywhere else we could go there's obviously the spot in moth cape I don't know if we can catch Digicarp there. We probably can, in all honesty, but I really don't fancy going all the way in the opposite direction. I think what I'll do, guys, is if this fishing doesn't work out, I will catch you guys back up in just a mo. Let's see. Digifry. All right. This is going to take longer than I wanted, obviously, so as soon as I get the Digicarp that we need, I will be back with you guys, and, uh, yeah, catch you in a bit. Hey, hey, all right, guys. Welcome back. We got it. One Digicarp. Perfect. All right. Now that took, um, well, yeah, it didn't take forever, but fuck me, it took a little while longer. I guess we could point out that in, in that um, period we also caught some other fish, obviously. A couple of Digicrookins, uh, a Digifrout, we actually caught one Digifrout, um, <laughs> Digifrout, a, digi, a Digitrout, fuck me, and then the Digicarp that we need as well. A medium fish found in all environments, so again, you should be able to catch that without too much difficulty. I feel like we kind of got the bottom end of the RNG spectrum there, but... 
All we're going to do to wrap this episode up is I am going to pop in back across to Renamon. Hopefully we can get there without too much difficulty. I will keep you guys here with me just on the off chance that we bang into some battles because that is uh, a potential, especially with the fucking red Vegemon that flow about the doorway. And then once we speak to Renamon, we will probably just straight up autopilot back. Now, I don't want to beat around with these Goblin so you guys can just relax for me. I don't know why these guys are challenging us when they're level 4. I guess the nighttime Goblimon are a bit more ambitious than the other Goblimon in this area. I, I don't fucking know, but these guys really shouldn't be butt rushing us like they are. I mean, fair, fair dues to them, but if you saw these two Digimon walking about in the woods and you were a tiny little Goblimon, would you be doing that? I, I, I don't know. Right, so now we have the pleasure of trying to get past the red veggies. I don't want to be... I really don't want to end up in a fight with you, so if you could just fuck off, that would be great. Ah, and there we go. I think... No. There we go. Ooh. All right, now we actually don't have any more, we don't have any more porta potties, so we need to get to this Renamon without too much difficulty here, and speak to her, and then immediately autopilot because if not, we're going to end up dumping all over the all over the grass, which is not what we want. Let's uh, speak to Renamon. Oh Lord Talmon, what? Uh, please wait a bit here. I brought you a digicart. Perfect. You brought it. Oh kind human. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Not even a problem. Now I can make the ultimate dish, and Renamon joins the city. So now we will pop square and f I hope to god we have autopilots because if not we are uh, up the creek. Luckily we of course have two. So let's go back to the city and find out what's happening. <laughs> Unfortunately we get pulled directly into Jigimon's house which is unfortunate for the two boys because they are both needing to go to the bathroom. But anyways, you're back Wolfie. I have good news. Renamon has come back to Floatia and he's starting to sell food items. The city's prosperity is now 15 and things are starting to look up. Alright, can we just go outside please because we really need the bathroom. Can we hop across? All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It's happening. We have been uh, undergoing some renovations. Unfortunately, guys are going to have to hold their bathroom breaks for just a moment longer. But look what we've got to work with now. We went from that dirt. Oh wow, Digimon sure seems happy. Holy fuck, that's like me on a Friday. Okay, so yep, uh, it looks like we're going to have to sit through a conversation, guys. You are just going to have to hold your bathroom for right now. Uh, all right. Oh, you're back, Wolfie. As you can see, the city's a lot bigger now. Yes, we can indeed, and I've been waiting on this for quite some time. It looks like we've got some sort of, like, um, Japanese castle going on now with a big open patch of square. I don't know. Some sort of Asian fortress type anyway. Because of all the residents you brought in, we finished early. It looks like the, uh, the detector will be ready soon too. I'm afraid I'm going to have much more work for you, but I know that you're up to the task. I mean, thanks, dude, I guess. I'll take that as a compliment, but holy shit. So now we have our full-sized, or our bigger-sized Felicia. Felicia has increased in size. Additional features have been added to the city map. Open the map with options and jump instantly to various places. So yeah. Oh god, we're still not done. Holy moly. He's, <laughs> Digimon's certainly upgraded the place. We went from having a shed to having a full-sized dojo as his meeting hall, which is uh, pretty nice if you ask me. I've been waiting for you, Wolfie. The machine Dramon detect or the machine Dramon detector is ready. We did a quick survey of the whole area with it, but we didn't pick up any signs. Uh, but there are indications of a, an alien data wave that might be caused by an altered form. The location is in the server desert in a village where a lot of Digimon live. If there's an altered, altered form there, whatever it is, it could do horrific damage. So they're kind of giving us a bit of a hint here. I think when a lot of players first play through this game for the first time and they head to this part that the guys are talking about in the desert, they would have got the fright of their lives. And believe me, we probably will end up in the fright of our lives as well. Or at least the fight of our lives, who knows. But there is something big and bad waiting for us there and God knows if we are ready for that. But anyways, I will let this story unravel itself later. Let's continue this dialogue. Don't be so hasty. If we reduce the number of the city protectors, this place will also be in danger. We have to be careful not to create more problems by fixing this one. And then it looks like Hamari's here. And uh, Hamari also has a new Digimon with her as well. And this Gatomon looks like Salomon Digivolved. Because Rika wanted to protect the residents of the city for those violent Digimon, of course, the, the city, or leave the city to us, we'll take care of it. So now, with that kind of out of the way, Gatomon is Digivolved. Or, you know, the pupper has Digivolved into Gatomon here. Rika and Gatomon are going to protect the... Uh, or Hamari and Rika are going to protect the city, sorry. And us and Kota and um, his Digimon here, um, Yukimura, are going to wander out and find out what the problem is. And we'll see how that, what happens with that as well. 
How nice to be so young and full of energy. From the information we've collected, there still doesn't seem to be any indication of a machine room on. If we don't find it in time, Kota and Yukimura may be in danger too, Goofy. I think you should go. So there we go. Digimon's giving us a bit of a foreshadowing here on what's actually going to happen. Now that we've now that we've done all this, hopefully we can actually get out to the bathroom, and I'll take you guys on a quick tour before we wrap up this episode. You back, Wolfie? I have good news. Meramon has came back. There are good uh, rumors of good food in the business district. Um, and Cubimon has come back as well. He's opened up an important new facility, which you guys will see what that is. Luckily, it's something that we, we've we not necessarily been desperate for, but we will need and will be needing in the future. The site's prospect is now 17, and things are starting to look up. All right, with all this being said, it's lovely that you've got a new pad, Digimon, but these guys have been holding in this for like the past 10 minutes, so if we don't get to this bathroom, I, I fear the worst. So here we go, guys. Our new, our new Floatia, very, very much, well much much bigger than the the last time we have a couple of buildings here in the starting area that you guys are going to get to see very soon the sender has his own little perch now the builder has his own building and obviously digimon's pad has been swagged out to this nice little uh, dojo as we for well i guess that's what it is who knows but we will be having a look a lot more at Floatia and its new form in the start of the next episode. But I think for now, what we will do is we will wrap things up here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've been uh, putting up with this episode not too bad because, as I said earlier on, we were kind of wandering around, not sure what to do. Luckily, we did eventually bang into Renamon and managed to get the fish that she needed. As ridiculous as that sounds, we managed to overcome that. And now we are advancing the story once again, which feels great. So... Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying the series. As always, leave me whatever thoughts and feelings that you fancy. And I will see you in the next episode. Take care, guys. Bye.